it's morning, and it's 10am on Walnut Grove. Downstairs, I eagerly await Larry's awakening. Do you want to find some blue check? Where's your blue? You got any blue check? Blue check? Blue check. Blue check. Tacky stuff is blue. Blue check. I don't have any on me, I. thought you were a filmmaker. You ain't got blue check? What do you need blue tech for? Oh, I want to cut out pictures of girls and put them in the toilet. It's an art piece. Not here, in Lucian. That's how I was his name, isn't it? Perry Mason. Perry Mason there? I think so, it's one of them. Yeah. Hey! Chauncey! He yeah. was fond of his nephew. He married little Joni. The star in the spin-off. Chauncey and Joni. I need some blue tech. After the excitement of the X Factor final the previous night, Larry was keen to show off his own artistic talents at his Luton studio. Oh, fuck! Is anyone coming? I can't see anybody. We are. We are. I can't see anybody. I had to get a car out, sir. We are. We are the Luton. You know where that is? Somewhere in London. That's right. Now, you've got to be careful here because driving's a bit difficult. Still, this is my road, these are a couple of them, uh, but look, alright. My uncle's got a garage up there. I'm wearing a mask. Wear the mask. I'll pop me. I like you when I laugh. And here we are, but we're in high town now, you. We soon arrived at Larry's prestigious studio, and after the soap, I was keen to get a flavour of more of his work. Yo, look. Go in, son. Look, he's dead. It's gonna be a go, it is. It's gonna be nice. It's quite handy, it's a bag shot over the road. Three puffs. Paint his arms. Drip loads of arms down the road. Another one there, I ain't been in that one yet. What's your step, son? This is gonna be the front of the gallery. All the floor's fucked, see? Another hole in the floor. Bloke there does lawnmower repair, he's a fucking hole shop. Then outside, we've got the toilet. And that's what I'm planning to do some work on today. This is my dream to get something done about this toilet. Now, what I thought I'd do. God fucking hell, it's cold. Brass monkeys up there. So, what I'll do, look. See this back door? I thought when people are on here, they can all be having a tom tit or a piss. And they'll be looking at my work. It's like a permanent show. So, I've got the blue chap ready, I've got the scissors. Kate Moss. Now, she's one, isn't she? Sometimes she looks like a real old rough minger. But other times, she's fucking gorgeous. I can see how her. Uh, that junkie got involved. What's his name? I could make a little collage of 1987 Tottenham Hotspur players there on that system. See? Because that'll be Hotspur and the rest of the toilet is cold. You see? Juxtaposition. Again. Paul and Joe. It's all about juxtaposition, see? When you're having a crap. I knew someone called Joe once. Yeah, he used to wear a tea cosy like hat. Paul and Joe. So I know someone called Paul. And I know someone called Joe. But people could also bring their own meaning to it. Someone could be having a shit there and see that and think it's referencing Paul McCartney and Joe Bugner. Well, you've started at least. I've made a start, exactly. You're planning on covering the whole toilet? I am planning to cover most of the door, and then I shall see how the work progresses. I quite like things growing organically, you see? Anyway, I mean, that's enough. You don't have to look here. Tremendous as the toilet piece was, I wanted to explore more of Larry's work and probe some more concerning and underlying intrigues. Shoes? Yeah. I see them. 
fight with me. That's the plan. I'm going to carve them with muck. I want to carpet this. So they don't make so much noise. Coming up. That's, my, I've, that's what I've done. Right. There's a picture there. With some old men. And some toys. Don't look what I've done. Don't keep looking at that. Look, that's mine on the wall. Collage and Cox. Phallic. In with not Cox. I like the car here sometimes. Sometimes I don't even do any work. And so I don't normally do things on paper. I normally stick things on things. Is that clear? Yes. Well, oh, picture me and my cousin now, look. That's good. That'd be good on the toilet wall. Oh, look at that. There's some lovely bird there nibbling on her finger. She'd be good. Do you ever bring any girls back to this studio? Girl, whoops, what do you mean? Girls. Any girls back? Girls. What for? For a um, relationship. Anything. What sort of relationship am I going to have in here? Eh? What load of pictures of cocks, people having it off everywhere. It's cold. There's an outside so who's going to want to come here? See? This is the problem, isn't it? This is the forever shit. And it's something else here, isn't it? It's a different kettle of fish altogether. You'd need a very special woman to be able to put up with this in general. Not just not just the outside, but you know what's going on under here. Under where? Uh, under here. Inside. Here. What is going on under there? Who knows? <laughs> I want to know what's going on in my head, in my heart, and in my bollocks. That's the mission we're all leading in this life. Whether anyone comes along with me for the rides, that's not up to me to... It's not up to me to even think about, I can't contemplate that. I had touched upon a subject which Larry seemed apprehensive of. So Larry made the decision that for now we should return home. Oh, oh shit. Come in quick, I think my mother must be back. Come here, she might be in the short. Don't, don't look, don't look, come on. Come in. I, I don't know what, what happened. It's going straight. Now you got a little weakling out! Hey! Hey! Do you wanna, what do you want to do now? I'm, I'm not sure if you can stay anymore. I I'll catch roses on. Got <laughs> we can't talk to your mother. Huh? We can't talk to your mother. What do you want to short the work for? I think you've got a gun. Do you want me to go? Please! Do you know what you get? Now show what you're saying, dude! I think you need to go. All right. Well, if that's what you want, please go. Yeah. Please, it's making me nervous. Okay, thank you. Good. As my time with Larry was cut so heart-wrenchingly short, I thought how privileged I was to have even had a glimpse at the true character of such a great man, a true enigma. I will always reflect back on my time spent with Larry and remember him with great fondness. Do me a favour, son. Do one, will you? Uh -oh.